Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. We've taken a look at the basics of the game, and got a new weapon, but now it's time to go to Mushroom Kingdom, and find out what we have here. First off, let's check out this first house. There's a lot of NPCs to talk to, so let's do that. Oomph, gumph, chomp. He's just eating. All I do, do, do is cook and clean. Hey Mario, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. Okay, why is he waiting for me specifically? Oh, he's bouncing on the bed. Eh. One, two, three. Think if I practice enough, I'll jump as high as you, Mario? Sure. Yeah! And he jumps crazily. Ah, uh, but if we say, yeah, right, kid. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> That's just funny to me. Or is it just crazy how fast he bounces? Ah! It's fine. Anyway. Let's go to the back of the house here in the corner. Uh, also, there's a person back here to talk to, apparently. That horrible cock crocodile, and wearing crocodile skinny shoes, no less. Has he no shame? That's interesting to find out about. Haven't seen Princess Toadstool lately. What? Bowser's got her again. <laughs> again? Uh, I think I need to go over this way. And talk to this toad. Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? Just give me the- give me time to grow into my mother's wedding dress. That's not random. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. Okay. <laughs> also, if we talk to this toad over here... Hey Mario, look what you're standing in! Jump. Ha, gotcha! Yeah, it, it, the text doesn't go away until you jump. Hey, did you just see a crocodile around here? He talks like a, uh, a mobster wannabe. I'm sure he's up to no good. Hey, wait a sec. My wallet's gone. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, now. Let me go in here. I can bounce on this bed. I don't think there's anything else in here to worry about. But if there was, I would know about it, probably. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time. Yes, indeed. They're only slightly crazy. It's fine. Uh, but anyway, let's go, I think, probably... ...to somewhere. Uh, a lot of creepy-looking thugs have been sneaking into town. Not on my watch. Also, there's a cool sign here, which is the mushroom. Don't get to see that much, I guess, but... I don't know. Uh, anyway, this is the inn, which means if we talk to the toad here, why don't you crash for a while? It only cost you three coins. Okay. So we get to stay the night, which will refill our health and FP, so. Just like that. Also, hello, toad. What are you dreaming about? Can I talk to you? It's not like I'm always sleeping. Uh, well, I'd say otherwise, so. Uh, but anyway. Oh, no, go back downstairs. We can also save in the back here, so let's do that. Just like that. Very nice. Also, I think there might be... Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, sh oh shut up. Okay. I, you're just there, apparently. <laughs> Tough guy. Uh, but anyway, that the, the inn is, is usually represented by the star icon spinning out the front, so... And the shop is the... Well, yeah, I've already said it. Uh, the shop is the building with the mushrooms spinning outside the front. So let's go in here, and we can buy some items. Mario, what a pleasant surprise! One of Frog, uh, Fuchsia's grandchildren is, uh, is running errands in town today. I haven't seen him, though. Oh, you're here to shop. What are you looking for? So, we can buy, sell, and sell items and weapons, or... Which, weapons also includes equipment. So, we can also equip things directly here, so let's go into buy. We can buy mushrooms, honey syrup, pick-me-up, which means that we can revive downed allies. Uh, able juice, heal status problems during battle, so we haven't seen any of those yet, but they'll be useful. Um, but the main thing we probably want to buy is a shirt, which is armor for Mario, so. We can also buy some accessories here, like the jump shoes, which means that Mario's jumps will do more attack damage. And the antidote, antidote pin, which prevents poison damage, so we can avoid getting poisoned, which is one of the status effects we can get inflicted with. But anyway, let's buy the jump shoes, I think, probably. 
Uh, we can also see how much something costs by the price on the, the, the line there, so that's four. The four coins. A and the coins below that is how many coins we have, and the number owned is showing how many of that item we have, so that means we can keep track of everything that we need to. Uh, but anyway, there's some other, some other stuff in the shop there, but we're gonna leave that for now. Let's just equip, uh, armor for, sh for the shirt. And the jump shoes, so we can do lots of good things at the moment. Mario's pretty stacked at the moment, actually, so... That's good. Also, if we jump up here... And jump... Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off of there this minute. He just tells you to get off the thing. Oh my goodness. I forgot that that was what that was. I thought there was something else that we need to worry about. Uh, I think... It's fine, but we want to also go down these stairs here. Because if we jump off of this, or just here underneath this toad, there's, in this world, there are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. There's just hidden item blocks, basically. Which is going to make things interesting. Uh, I probably don't want to use those until I need them. But there's also, if we get this toad to move in the way we want him to, I wish you luck in the future. So if we stand in his way, he should move... In that direction. No, not that direction. The other direction, please. Please. No, not quite. We just need to stand on the tiles on the floor, in the grid, to make him go the way we- And no, go back the other way. No, stop, stop, go the other- Please. Yes, that way. No, yeah, uh, uh, almost, almost there. No, not quite. Go down right, please. Please. <laughs> please go down right, thank you. Just a little bit more- No, back, back, back. Go back the other way. No, back the other way. Go down right, please. You're, you're down right cool, please. Thank you. Keep going, keep going. Nope, nope, please. Oh my goodness, Toad, what are you doing to me? You're, you're, you're killing me. You're, you're, you're killing me. Please. Oh my goodness. Just turn. Turn. This is a bit... Difficult to get him into the right position. How about how about I let him go down more? If he'll move at all. Can also jump possibly? No, not high enough. Please, Toad, do the thing. How about if I stand here? We go down the way I want you to? Maybe? You're just gonna stand in the corner. Please, Toad. Please. I beg you, stop standing in the corner. Maybe I should reload the room, possibly. Hang on. There we go. And if we jump... No, go that way. Please, no. Other way. Please, other way. Other way, please. Please. No, please. That way. Yeah, yeah. Bit more. Bit, 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 bit more. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. This is a very difficult thing to get, but there is another hidden block here, and we need to be able to jump off of his head to get to it. Which is easier said than done, considering how much he just doesn't want to go the correct way. Okay. Please. Okay. You might be close, you're close, you're close, you're close, you're close. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Nope. Not quite. That way a bit more. Nope, don't go this way. Please, Toad. Please. Go that way. No, Toad, why? Oh, Toad, why? Please, Toad, you're killing me. I can't even tell where exactly the block is at this point in time. Just... Ah, uh, stop dodging around me! <laughs> this can be very irritating. Oh my goodness, please. Please, where is it? I can't see it. Maybe here? There it is! No, I need to hit it. There we go! Flower. Oh my gosh. I think that it did actually increase my flower points, so th that was correct about that, doing what that does. Anyway, that's everything down there, so... Yeah, also it might be worth saving, so let's go save. Let's do it. It's quite- it's- it's a helpful thing, so let's- let's do it. Okay. You definitely want to save for this bit. You- even if you're- like, if you're on a SNES Mini like I am, you might even want a save state. Mario, hurry! The council- or the Chancellor awaits! Same thing with you, okay. Anyway, in here we have Toad. Mario, there you are. I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. I'll wait for you down the hallway. We want to jump on Toad's head quickly, and then jump 
up here, because this hidden block here with a frog coin in it, you can only get this once. So if you miss this, you miss this. Please make sure you save. If you don't get it, just reload. Somehow. Anyway, don't think there's anything else that we need to worry about here, luckily. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Okay. So, Mario has a- no, hang on. I, I'm actually gonna go back, if I can. Okay, so... Let's go down this way. Just because we want to talk to this toad here before doing anything else. I'm guiding the treasure room. Sorry, but you have to get the Chancellor's permission to pass. So... Can't do that at the moment. But I just want to point out that he says something different at that point, so... Ah, uh, there's also something else we can check on the other side of this place here. So let's go up this way. All the way into this room. Which is Peach's room. The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the Chancellor must feel? I don't know, let me just check this thing right here. Found Toadstool's question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey there, what do you think you're doing? G I'll give you this in exchange, just leave everything where it was. I mean, it gives us a mushroom for hiding the secret thing in Peach's room. Let's refrain from searching through other people's things. Fair. Honestly, fair. Anyway. I think that's everything that I needed to do first. So now, let's head up this way. Following Toad all this way. To the Chancellor's room. Sir, Mari has arrived. Mari, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud, I almost dropped my spores. Uh, excuse me. Well, where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. It's been that long? I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all this? It's time for Mario to do his impressions again. Bowser, Peach, Peach, rescued, possibly. Spore's alive! You're telling us that Bowser has abducted that p p the princess again? Never mind, it will all be up up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. Bowser fight, beat Bowser, rescue Peach. And then we fly out. Oh, where'd he go? And then get kicked out. Oh, no bridge? Okay. Egad! The keep is unassailable. What an, what awful power is at work here? Mario, her life is in your hands. Please, save our dear princess. Mario. <laughs> this game is great. I almost forgot. This may help you, but why don't you take it along? Got a map. Mario. <laughs> Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the, about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. Oh my goodness, it took Mario several tries to get out of that room after he got asked to do things. Mario, the Chancellor has filled me in. Come, let me show you around. The Chancellor gets around very quickly, apparently. Help yourself to the treasures. Okay. This is a coin. The small ones are worth one, and the large ones are worth ten. This one's a 10. This is a flower. The more you gather, the more flower points you'll have in battle. Find them. This mushroom will restore your hit points and flower points and flower points. Unfortunately, mushrooms you find as items only restore HP. So beware. This mushroom is special? <laughs> I didn't know this, this mushroom was special. I can't tell which one it is. It's probably the second one, but I can't tell, but that's that's really unfortunate. Anyway, we also have the map in our inventory now. So we can check that and look at the entire world, basically, that we have look have to look forward to. We're just at the very beginning, so it's gonna take us some time to get through. I think that's everything. Do you know about flower points? No, tell me. <laughs> Ahem. Very well. FPs are consumed during battle when you use special attacks. For example, a jump attack uses 3 FPs. When you jump, uh, your FP will decrease by 3 each time. Run out and you can't use those these attacks. 
An item called a flower raises your maximum FPs. Recover FPs with syrups, some mushrooms, and at inns. I don't think there's anything else you have to tell me, right? Oh yeah, I know about flower points. You sure got your act together, Mario. Thank you. Okay, let's also check another few things around here. I don't think there's anything in this room that we need to worry about, but we can bounce on this bed, so that's fun. The vault guard better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. Uh-oh. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Also, if we leave now and talk to one of the guards here... M hurry, Mario, the Chancellor awaits. Oh, I... Guess it's fine. Come back here! Oh no, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin. Boo, boo, boo hoo. <laughs> I can't cry. Big boys don't cry. But it's just not fair. What am I gonna do? Wah! Rain or shine, I shall fulfill my duty. <laughs> they, say, they say that. I think that's the thing I wanted to check. Uh, anyway, that was the crocodile thing that we've heard about around town. Y yes Gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? I'm alright now, sorry. There's nothing like a good cry. But why was I crying? There was some reason. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. Well, let's jump. Wow, he doesn't stand a chance. Wow, you're THE Mario? I know all about you. You've got so, uh, more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog. But can't, can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Uh, mm, What if I say I'm a little busy? You're sure you won't reconsider? Nah, sorry. Oh, please. Pretty please? No! I never thought you'd be so mean, Mario. Who cares if you can- if you can jump? Being mean is so uncool. You know, I can't get my coin back without your help. Alright, already. <laughs> no means no. Oh, but every time we say no, he's gonna start crying, so we probably should make him happy. Also, it's interesting that it rains whenever he's crying. The young frog, Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario on it in his quest. So now we have an extra party member to join us, and he always, always, already starts at level 2. Uh, but anyway, let's also go probably save, just because we can. So let's do that. So now that the- now we have an extra member, that means that the pick-me-up makes a lot more sense. Now we can revive an extra member of our party. Uh, but anyway, if we go into the shop now... Hey Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Wait until you hear this, you see? Wait, I've already heard. Old Frogsy- uh, <laughs> Frogfucius told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. Listen, the truth of the matter is, well, um, the coin was stolen. What? Well, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. Is that so? Well, if Mario's on your team, you'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Ah, uh, but anyway. Not so fast. Take this with you. You'll probably need it. And we got a pick-me-up from him for free. I hate to admit it. You know, I hate to admit it. But I love this job. What are you looking for? We can also buy some stuff still. Uh, so we might actually want to buy the pants here. It's a pair of pants! Which is armor for Mellow. That's gonna be helpful. Uh, and I would li like to get the antidote pin at some point, but I can't really do that at the moment. Also, we can see that the accessory says, or whatever it... Like, the equipment 
will show on the bottom part of the screen on the left there who can buy what. Or who can wear what, at least. So, Mario can wear the shirt, Mala can wear the pants. Jump shoes is from Mario, specifically. Uh, but the antidote dope pin, they can both wear, so... Uh, anyway, if we go back uh, to our main screen though, on our menu, we can also have see how many frog coins we have on the bottom right, underneath the regular coins as well, so... But anyway, I think that's everything that we need to worry about in town. Let me just equip the pants to Mallow before I forget. Just like that. And let's go. I think I saved. Yeah, I think so. Mario, I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He's gone somewhere. He just soon passed me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? <laughs> Why, yes, exactly. How does Mario do that? He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh, give me a break here. Come back here. Haha, -ha, yo, use mug. Mugs will never catch me. A snail could outrun you, mor morons. Later. This game has so much character. That's him! Hurry, Mario, let's get him! <laughs> just just wait wait for Mario to wake up first. Anyway, we can now go to Pan Bandit's Way. So let's go ahead and do that. There he is! He probably stashed it in that bag. Let's snap him. Are you trying to tail me? Go on your go home to your mummy before you get hurt, kid. Well, he's gone. Let's get started. Well, I guess starting off, we should probably go into a battle. And now that we have Mallow on our team, he works pretty much the same as a regular... as Mario, basically. Also, the hammer, we haven't tried it yet. It's about the same, but we just need to hit, him, uh, hit A whenever it's about... when it's hitting the enemy. Mallow has, has his own attack, but he also has his own special attack. Uh, but the thing about FP is it's shared, be shared between all characters in the party, so... So, we have Thunderbolt here, which is a thunder move. Uh, but it's, it hits all enemies, which is good. It also, yeah, is sometimes more effective. Uh, but Mallow has actually a good, a good attack as well. And as we get further into the game, he also have uh, some healing magic as well to use, so. But for now, let's just finish off this fight. Mario is fairly well-rounded, but also has regular attack, is, is also regular attack focused, I'd say. Ah, uh, but there we go. Let's go ahead and save. Just like that. And now, let's keep moving. I don't think there's anything to worry about here, other than more enemies which could be good for leveling up. You couldn't jump to save your life, kid, so I guess this is goodbye. And he stole that coin. How dare he. Uh, but anyway, we have these platforms here that if we jump on one of them, We'll swap the other one around itself, so it'll keep rotating all the way through to allow us to get to the other side. But also, I probably want to fight some of these enemies here to just have a look at what they're like. Okay, I think... Gotta take out this canine. Oh, that didn't work. Fangs. Which I think... Some of these moves might... No, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's use Thunderbolt, because that's going to be helpful for taking out enemies quickly. If we press Y when the lightning strikes at the very end, we'll also do an extra hit on them. Which I think is represented by the extra lightning strike sound effect, so... Just keep that in mind. So there we go. We also only lose a fight if all characters in our party are dead or down. That That's the one. Uh, but anyway, over here... We actually want to spin on this flower here and jump to the blue flower to get a Karakarakola hidden block. The Karakarakola is an extremely powerful item for this part of the game. Uh, it refills all party members' health and FP. And also, I think, cures uh, status effects. But it's, it doesn't bring characters back to life, so... But that is just really good to have at this point in the game, so... You definitely want to pick that up. It's very easy to miss because it's invisible. 
And you can only really get it if you know it's there, so... Oh, you're a persistent bugger, but I'm a hundred miles ahead of you. Well, there he goes. Let's keep following him. Oh, enemy. <laughs> Just didn't see that, anyway. Uh, now, I, th I don't know what to go for. I'm gonna go for this reptile thing here. A frogog. That's an interesting name for an enemy. Uh, but anyway, let's hit all the enemies with thunder. There we go, very nice. And Mario gets to level 3. Which I think means, yep, he learns Fire Orb. So we have another special move, which is Fire Based. Also, Jump is its own type of special move. Uh, but I think now we want to do attack and get two extra attack. And defense. Just extra one defense, but I think that's default anyway. So let's go grab that, and there we go. Let's keep moving forward. I don't think there's anything else in this room to worry about, so I'm just gonna chase after him. Avoid fights, but nope, I'm gonna miss the ch I'm gonna miss the I'm, I'm just gonna fight, apparently. Nice. And let's... I probably wanna save my FP as a thing. I don't have to be too... I don't have to be too careful with my FP because I have flower tabs and flower jar that I will need to use at some point. But also it's helpful to be able to refill my FP in an instant, basically. We can't use those in mid the middle of a fight, though, so we have to use the flower tabs or flower jars inside or outside of a fight. There you are. I will catch- I will catch you. I will catch you, but first I'm gonna fight this thing. Ah, uh, let's try hitting you. I think I'm just gonna use the Thunderbolt. Just so it can... be fine. Very nice. Get some coins. And an eye, a mushroom, which is good because I might need to heal. Mario gets healed because he leveled up, but Mallow didn't heal because he hasn't leveled up yet. Ah, uh, but I think we're alright. We also have 40 coins, so I can get that badge now that I wanted to buy. Also, these rotating platforms here, they don't spin around completely, but they can move anywhere on the screen, so... Give it up already! That treasure box is tempting me- uh, is tempting, but now is not the time. Well, I'm gonna grab that treasure box. Because, if we grab this treasure box, it's a star power, which means that we can destroy enemies instantly. And get level up from it. So that's extremely good to do. Especially because, if you die, if you game over, you go back to the last save point. But you keep- I'm pretty sure you keep your coins and your XP slash levels, so. But Malo reached level 3, which means that he learns HP rain, so he can heal now. Heal himself and other characters. Uh, but we also need to get the bonus- Attack power, so let's do that. But with what I said about the thing respawning, is if I can manage to do nothing in this fight, which might be difficult. Can't really do any do nothing. Kill me. Take me out. Do it. Oh, this is slow. <laughs> This is very slow, but I'm going to do it. Also, the maximum level is 30, so that's something to keep in mind as we're leveling up. We're probably not going to reach that in the, the, the full game, but still. We're going to get pretty close. Just need to die. Is there anything I can do to not do anything? Not really. Don't want to waste anything. Also, to cancel out of doing something, you have to press a different uh, different button to do a different action, basically. So it's not just press B to cancel out of an action, it's just press something else. Also, how I believe, inf inf inflicts the status effect Fear, which will make Mario less effective at doing some things. And I think sometimes probably possibly skip his turn, but poss probably not. I might be remember rem I might be remembering wrong. Also, all of these fights here are these enemies, so they're fairly tough for this point in the game. But it means that the star power is even more effective against them when you think about it. Also, whenever we have fear, apparently, 
our def attack and defense are cut in half, so... Fear is a very bad a status, effect, a status effect to have. But if you have the, um... The... Able Juice, you can get rid of that effect. But also, at the end of a fight, it goes away anyway. Also, I just healed. Why? Why did you do this to me? I'm gonna defense. And I'll be probably be back in a second once I actually die. Also, I think defending has actually gotten rid of the fear for some reason. I didn't think that was something that could happen, but I, apparently that is. Anyway, game over. Okay, so, we go back to the last save point, which means I have to have a little bit of area to catch up on. And also have to recollect items. But the thing about recollecting items is that means we can get the star power again. Which means we can actually grind levels here for free. As long as we keep dying and going back through all this. But yeah, that's just a way we can get levels up pretty quickly. I probably won't do that just because it's gonna take a long time to do and I probably don't want to be too over leveled for what's up ahead, so. But it is something we can do. Just have to go through a lot of cutscenes for this to get back here, though. There is a much better place for grinding this much later in the game as well, though. And I'll point that out when we get there, because it's actually really, really overpowered. But anyway, let's get rid of these enemies. They respawn pretty quickly to try and get rid of us. So, let's just hit all of those. Let's see if we can level up again, maybe? Nope, not quite. So there we go, that is, that is everything that we probably want to know at this point. Which is really helpful for this. Anyway, once again, allows us to do an extra attack in a row. I think you have to take something out in one hit, possibly, to get that though. I'm not entirely sure. I don't, not, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.